layout. And this is one of those layouts where I had the perfect paper. It had been in my stash for a while and you'll, um, but it was waiting for this project. So I'm starting out with that wood grain paper there. And that is um, Doodlebug Petite Prince Wood Grain Gingham. I, I didn't write it down, I'm sorry, but it's it, Gingham Wood Grain, I think is what it's actually called. Um, and I can't remember the, sorry about that, but it's in the brown tone. So um, I mounted my photos on that. And then I'm going to put that on top of this gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous piece of vellum. And playing around with these wood veneers. I, um, I'll tell you, this, this story is about a really smoky summer we had because um, I live in Wisconsin. The Canadian wildfires were producing smoke. If you lived on the East Coast, New York had it. I think that made national news. Um, but it got really bad, so it was hard to see. It was hard to breathe for me. Um, and a lot of other people, people were getting inhalers because you could like, you could almost, if you went outside, you could like feel the particles in the air and you could smell the smoke. It, it, it was very bad. And this went on for weeks and weeks and weeks this past summer just because of the way the jet stream was working. So I documented these photos. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Um, anyway, so that that vellum is laying over some white cardstock. It's the coordination's bright white, and that the vellum is Webster's Pages Open Ocean Melody Dusk Vellum, which is very old. So um, it's not available anymore. Somebody bought me some. Um, a friend of mine saw a scrapbooking store going out of business and she brought bought me a bunch of stuff and this is one of those things so I didn't like those two original pieces of wood veneer they were taking over the photos too much so I'm kind of playing around and I found this one and this is something that I got at a scrapbook um, convention so I don't know exactly what it is so I'm taking that and um and, and i i kind of like you know the arrow there is kind of pointing into the photos so i like that idea and then um i also added that piece of um fire there that fire sticker which came from photo play summer bucket list element stickers um, and obviously this isn't from a campfire, but those can be the cause of it. And I, um, like the idea of having a fire on this page since that's where all the smoke came. I'm adding, kind of cutting up this, um, printable from Ellie Studio. It's a three by four card printable that I've had around for a while. And so I'm just kind of doing that. And I'm sorry, I've got, um, a little bit of a, um, um, it's a, what do I want to say? It's, um, I've gotten this a little bit low on you. That's what I wanted to say. So you're missing a little bit here and there, but I think you're getting the gist of what I'm doing for sure. So I'm going to add some of my vellum tape behind, um, that fire there, that campfire sticker, because otherwise it's not, it'll, um, because the wood veneer is high, otherwise it'll, um, the sticker will um, drop down and and, and um, could cause all sorts of problems and wreck the sticker. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. So then I have that um, arrow sticker there as well from that same summer bucket list element stickers. But I was thinking about it, putting it on top of the photo and then I'm going to wait then as I was looking here, I'm pulling these like banners and flags and I found that little note piece, um, that little sticker there. And that is from Echo Park Hello Summer Element Stickers. So I really liked how that added that pop of orange and yellow and orange are colors of fire. So I like the idea of that going on together. I'm just putting the other stickers. You see me do this a, a bazillion times. I like to put them on the side of my map. All right, so then I'm going to take my wood veneer, and, or my wood veneer, my wood alpha here, which is American Crafts um, uh, Thickers in Cedar, and I think that was a pink paisley um, collection quite a while ago. And now, okay, so I spelled this out, 
And then after I was done, I'm like, wait, does Smokey have an E in it? I don't think so. So I did look it up just so you know that is an alternative spelling, but the more common spelling is without the E. So you don't have to correct me. I know that I'm leaving it. Am I just like the way that looks? Although um, too bad in some ways because I did only have one E, so I MacGyvered threes into E's there. But so I realized that that is not a common spelling, but it is a spelling of Smokey out there in the English language. All right, so that, I love that alpha. So now that I have that done, the title done, I decided that I'm going to put that arrow sticker up at the top left there. And I'd like then how that I'm getting that diagonal from the top left down to the bottom right. You've seen me again, this is a technique I use quite often. I'm thinking about looking for some orange and I pulled some old Simple Stories label stickers, but I didn't, couldn't find them. And then uh, reinforcing the orange down here again, I'm just going to use a couple of the little banner stickers there and get that in there. And then I find the star stickers on that summer bucket list pay, um, piece. And I am thinking about orange up there and kind of trying to find some orange. And I probably could have gone to some orange puffy stickers and scattered those around, but I'm not going to find them easily. And I just decide, you know what? It's fine. That orange really draws your eye into the photo cluster and it's okay. So normally I would say I want some orange in both photo clusters, but I think it's it works out well in this particular sense. So when you break rules about, you know, using common colors and that kind of stuff, just know what you're doing and why. <laughs> and so that is what I did here. There is the still shot and the couple of detail shots here. Hope you guys are well, and I will be back with another layout soon. Bye, everybody.